Hi guys, Mrs. Mandrich here. Yesterday you should have completed and turned in the Elements, Molecules, and Compounds worksheet. Today is Thursday, woo woo! And you are going to be looking at this super cool um, periodic table in pictures. And there's a worksheet that you'll be doing along with it. Okay, but uh, I wanted to show you something really cool real quick. I have this plate. Can you see it? Of coffee grinds, okay? Little coffee grinds, isn't that exciting? Um, but I also have this magic magnet of science, okay? How many of you think that I can make this magnet pick up these coffee grinds? Anybody? Hmm. Well, let's give it a try. Can we capture it on camera? Oh, nice. I hope you can see that. Because that is a bunch of coffee grinds hanging off of a magnet. Well, some of you have figured out by now, I'm lying. This is not coffee. But what it is, is iron fillings. Have you ever gotten to play with iron fillings? They are so fun. Okay, can I show you my favorite part? I don't know if I can get this close enough without getting iron stuck in the keyboard of my computer. But when you take the magnet out, woo, they all drop off okay I don't know if you got to see that on camera but one of the cool characteristics of the element iron is that it is magnetic okay there are actually three magnetic elements that are on our periodic table look at that I spilled some and I picked it up right on my back okay focus Miss Mandrich Hey, today we are going to learn about elements that are magnetic, that are radioactive, that give off cool colors, and we're going to do that using this periodic table in pictures. So if you click on it, maybe if it loads, it's going to come up small, okay? Just like other things in Schoology, it's not super helpful when it's this small, but if I go to full screen... Woo! I have a much better view of these different elements, okay? So this is one thing you will be using today. If you notice, instead of just having the chemical symbol, it has a picture in every single one of the boxes, and that is one of the uses of that element. So for example, we have neon in this light up sign. Fluorine is good for your teeth. Okay, um, and we have all these different elements and what they're used in. Like if you've ever had a lithium battery, you have. You might have just not known it. Um, or the helium in balloons. So we have all of these elements that have different uses based on their properties. Okay, next week we're going to talk all about physical and chemical properties. And each of the elements on the periodic table, including the rare earth metals, have some really cool properties that make them super useful for human life, okay? Look right here, tantalium, element 73. It's what makes your phone work. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna get out of full screen for a minute and I'm gonna show you the actual assignment today. So, let me get back in Thursday. And the assignment is called Get to Know the Elements, Google Slides for a Grade, okay? So, you will need to pull up your copy of the Google Slides. So, remember next to assignment, my document. Once you open it, you need to click edit over here. And it will take you to Google Slides. Okay? Again, it looks pretty small right now. But if I go up to view, I can change my view. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can go full screen. I'm going to go to 100%. Okay? That makes it something that I can see. And it says, how many elements are gaseous? How many of them are gases at room temperature? If you notice, I can type in these boxes, okay? Obviously, it's not gonna be random letters. It's gonna be a number, and I just picked a random number. But each of these, you can type in the boxes. On the ones that have multiple lines, I could not get individual little boxes to fit in there nicely but you're just gonna fit them into the box the best you can. So what are the top 10 most important elements in the human body? I know that carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, 
okay? You can just kind of fill them all out in the box and 10 of them should basically fit in there. It's okay if the box gets a little bit longer. I can deal with that, okay? But you're gonna complete get to know the elements, but you're not done because there is a slide two. So slide two looks like this. It says use the key, use this key to fill in the missing information of the element squares below. So here's the key and it shows you everything that should be in that element box. You will need the element symbol, the atomic number, the element name, and a picture of its use. I'm not gonna make you guys write the use, you just need to include the picture. So for example, neon. Okay, I happen to know this one so I could fill in the information. Its atomic number is 10 because neon has 10 protons. Okay, the name is neon and this magical sign of science um, tells me the uh, picture that I'm gonna use. Okay, obviously you guys aren't gonna know all of that and so you're going to need to refer back to that element um, periodic table and pictures. So I'm gonna show you how you can have that pulled up. I'm also gonna come back and talk about period, group, and family. Okay, these you could get off of your periodic table but they are also on the periodic table and pictures. So let's back it up here. Okay, if I go back to this week and back into Thursday, right here, that periodic table in pictures, there is a really cool button in Schoology that lets you open things in a new tab. So let's learn about that button real quick. Maybe I was lying. Maybe, maybe the way I set this up, there isn't that button. Uh, let's try... If I go to full screen, okay, I'm gonna pause the video and make this work. Everybody, you can laugh at Miss Mandridge. Okay, guess what, I figured it out. So I had inserted it as a file and not as a link. Nobody needs to know that, but what you do need to know is this is the magic button in Schoology. If you click right here, it will open it in a new tab. The reason that's important is you're going to want a tab for your element pictures and a tab for your Google Slides assignment. So one more time, what I did is in the Thursday folder, you're going to click on the one that says periodic table in pictures that's a link. It's going to open in Schoology, be really small, but you're going to click the magic button and make it big. Okay. Back to work. Now we have our periodic table in pictures and our getting to know the elements Google Slides. I could find neon on my element periodic tables, pictures, whatever, okay? Um, I could find it here. And I could see that the name of the family is the noble gases. So back here on my page, the family is called noble gases. Hey, some of you already knew that. Good job. The group number, okay, the group number is right up on top of the column, okay? So you can see like here it says group one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 18. So the group number or the column number is at the top of the column. So it is group 18. And then the last thing is the period. That's the horizontal row that it's in. Okay, there's a reason they call it that, and it's that you build up one more electron as you go like across a horizontal row, across a period, so it repeats periodically. Okay, so this number on the side is the period number, okay? So you can see it says periods, and then it goes like that. Neon is in period two, so I'm going to say period two, okay? So for each of these, you need to include the chemical symbol, or I'm sorry, the atomic number, the element name. You might need the chemical symbol if it's missing. And then I screenshotted all of the pictures for you. So you just have to pull these into the right place. Okay, this thermometer here, mercury is what used to be inside thermometers. And so I could put that one there. 
Okay, then I'm going to use my periodic table in my other tab. I'm going to find mercury, okay, and I'm going to include what group it's in, which is 12, what period it's in, which is 6, and the name of its family. All of these, remember, are the transition metals. So I would put that there, okay? I'm going to quickly put that in because some of you might want to refer back to my video. So I said that it was in period 6 and group 12. Period 6 and group 12. And the family is the transition metals. Okay, so you guys will have most of the hour to work on this. Hopefully we'll be done within class. Um, if not, we'll finish on Monday. But what I want you to do is finish slide one and slide two using this um, picture periodic table. Okay, uh, a couple of things on this get to know the elements. Okay, you need to know what these symbols mean. So, for example, when it says, what are the top 10 most abundant elements in the human body? If I go back to my element pictures, it shows this little human. Any element that's in the human body is also going to have that symbol. So, right here, hydrogen has one. Yep. Oxygen has one. Yep. If you can't see, you can zoom in even more. Okay, see that little human body? It is also right here in hydrogen, okay? So you need to use these symbols to be able to tell the properties of those elements. By the way, my little coffee grinds, okay, the iron fillings, look right here. Here's iron, and there's a little magnet to show that it is magnetic, okay? So I'm going to give you guys some time to work on this now in class. And Mr. Gallant and my sub are here to help. Have a great day, guys.